FLIR, forward-looking infrared, which is thermal, I'm going to be dropping another form of data that also corroborates that whole series. The moment that the report drops, I'm going to be releasing something else. It's not my favorite piece of data visually, but it corroborates the whole thing. What you're talking about with the government, like, you know, so it's like, and, you know, people on our side, if they're, if you're going to say sides, you know, they'd be disappointed if I, if I, um, revealed anything that I do know accidentally to an adversarial nation. So I have to walk this thin line of being, I'm a journalist. Right. Oh, whatever I am. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I am. I'm a filmmaker, you know, but like, you're a journalist. You do really good work. I'm breaking stories. Right. So I found my way into this place where I need to like learn how to operate in this field, this quagmire, this briar patch of international high level interest where there's many different pieces on the chessboard with different agendas to stay true to myself, to stay true to the audience and to always maintain the integrity of the work I'm doing. And if you know me, Duncan, right, you know me. You you come over to my house. I'll show you everything. Oh, the longer videos. I'll show you everything. Yeah. It's not what I can put out. But as a friend, you know me. Like I'm not yeah. editing anything. I'm not changing anything. I'm just trying to be responsible with the pressures on me to make sure that the American public and global public get this information in a way that's that's useful. Yeah. Holy shit! Like let's exploit the technology. Let's make sure that, there, that it's not a foreign nation. Let's figure out what's going on. Yeah. Can we have a technological advantage, a warfare advantage so we can protect our yes. uh, populations? That's what was going on since, you know, the moment we had aviation. Like, we've been trying to figure this yeah. out. So I understand. I understand that the concept of secrecy for technology and national defense. However... Our government works for us. This yes. is representative government. There's one thing to say, we're working on something for the national good. There's another thing to say, we've been actively denying, dismissing, ridiculing, lying, mm. compartmentalizing, storehousing, and obfuscating the truth about a much larger existential issue for humankind because we know it's right. And you just sit back and don't ask questions. And and that's bullshit. That's bullshit. And now we have collectively, as 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 a public, an American and global public, we have forced the issue. And that's why you're seeing, and that's why George Knapp and I are coming forward with this stuff now is to really, I'm only putting out videos that I know the Pentagon will confirm. And I'm doing it to influence policy, to influence the narrative, and to get some semblance of UFO transparency. It's so obvious. And now people don't want to seem dumb. They don't want to seem out of the loop. They don't want to be on the wrong side of history. There's been a sea change. So now people are like, it's like their own idea. I'm going to fight for you. It's going to be on the next national ticket, the UFO topic. They're going to tell us in the report, these are not our black projects. Fucking duh. I mean, fucking duh. This stuff has been around before uh, modern aviation. So with that said, I understand secrecy to a degree. We are past that. The basics now need to be confirmed to the American public by the American government. And if they don't do it, I am going to force the issue with George Knapp. We are and others too. We're going to force the issue. So they're going to do it come hell or high water. Yeah, that is crazy. That is so cool, man. Trying to get information in a short amount of time for something that spanned decades and decades. And, and look, a lot of this is in private industry, and that's a, a shielding. It's like how super wealthy people have an offshore account that can't be touched by the federal government. The federal government uses private industry to shield it from FOIA, a Freedom of Information Act request. Wow. So private industry, like Lockheed Martin, has materials from UFOs, hardware, but they are shielded by the FOIA but that's by design. Wait, you now, just said Lockheed Martin has a UFO? So Are Lockheed you speculating Ma- there? Or, or no, what? Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you specifically. So I didn't say this. Senator Harry Reid has said this, who is the guy that started OSAP, the UFO government program that we've all heard of. Yes. Right? He identified Lockheed Martin as one of the companies 
that he has been told for decades has material. I can confirm for you personally that they do. Now, I didn't say a whole spaceship, a whole craft. However, I will caveat this with numerous uh, private industry companies have pieces of, of technology, hardware. However, we do have full craft. We do. We've been exploiting these technologies for decades, trying uh -huh. to reverse engineer with modern earth materials. Our limiting factor is the material science, the way the atoms are perfectly atomically layered, which create metamaterials, which are like the sheaths and the skin of the, the way these things are built. We can't do it. Not today, not 20 years ago, not 40 years ago, maybe in a hundred years, a thousand years. But even if we can replicate the metamaterials where it's perfect atomic layering, where the orientation of differential of the atoms are so perfect that they have unique properties. And to bring it down to earth for you, imagine this. Graphene is a metamaterial. How they figured it out was they took scotch tape, they put it on like pencil lead, but graphite basically. Yeah. And they, they realized when they lifted it up, it's these perfect hexagonal shaped uh, atomic layers of 100% oriented perfect graphite. Now I have two pieces of graphene. Like you come to my house, I'll, I'll show you. They're super conductors. They're pieces you can write with them like you could a piece of lead, but they're atomically layered perfectly. Now I've got one that is a five degree orientation, which is from Russia. And then I've got one that's a one degree orientation or three degree. It's a little bit better. And that's from China. These are used in like different types of weapon systems, but they're little pieces of just material. But the difference is one of them I push into an ice cube and the heat transfers from my finger and it's like a hot knife through butter, but you're just holding a piece of, it's, it's the wow. weirdest feeling in the world. This shows you, this shows you what material science, why it's important. Yeah. So I take this five degree orientation differential one and I push it into an ice cube and it stops midway. But if I take the one from China that's at three degree or one degree orientation, I'm not sure, it goes straight through the ice cube before it gets ice cold and stops penetrating. And the wow. reason is it nature from, from a, a electric um, disbursement to uh, thermal uh, fluxing where it heats up and expands or contracts. Like there's just an article last week about how they got a material that doesn't expand with heat now. And that's so important. Like when you're bringing in a craft, like one of our shuttles, it heats up so much. We have so many damage problems because of the heat. Right. So these metamaterials are the future. Once we can learn to atomically print, we can, in a zero gravity environment, you can have perfectly sphere atomic structures, perfectly oriented. That's the level of technology that we are seeing, that we have possession of in these craft from another technologically advanced civilization, wherever they come from either from other star systems or if it's like ultra terrestrial, meaning they've been here the whole time and we're right. just starting to kind of meet them. So oh, that perspective, um, a farmer went out to sow his seed as he was scattering the seed. Some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil is shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Like that is like if you if you think of that coming from this directed panspermia. Yeah. Saying, look, we 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 put the we seed the, the universe, and most of the time it doesn't work out. But yeah. sometimes, not only does it work out, it exponentially increases. It, it produces things we couldn't even fathom. And Next question is, does our government really know what to disclose? I mean, sure, we have craft that um, physical hard craft. We have flying saucers in warehouses from other places. You're positive about that. You know uh, that. Duncan, like... I would bet my life on it. I wow. do not have the luxury of disbelief. And, and wow. I know this shit has never been shown in the theater of war, which is where you demonstrate your best technology. Right. So 
What are we left with, Duncan? You tell me. Good point. Good fucking point, because here's the real truth. If we controlled these things, you better believe we'd be using them. It's not like we'd be like, sh we're shy. We've been at war for 93% of our history. You think we're not going to like send out our super fucking insane drones? Wait, wait, what's going on right now mm. is not okay. Right. So I think we have to apply that boldness to the study of the UFO topic where no, you may not ridicule this anymore. I'm not standing for it. You are uneducated, Neil deGrasse Tyson. You don't even understand what FLIR is. Right. Forward-looking imprint. You don't understand what pixelation means, right. what grain means. So I'm like, we, we have to call people out, and I am not afraid to do that. In that if they're talking bullshit and they should be better educated,